Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, my name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be my lipstick collection and inventory video and this is finally going to be the last part for my collection and inventory series this year. I am honestly so relieved. I started to film these collection and inventory videos either in the late April or early May, but it has been over six months and it has been quite a task to film this and sometimes I have been a little bit uninspired to film this but because I started to film them I wanted to film them to the end and finally this is the last part so I'm super happy. So let's get into this video and let's first talk about the number. So before the declutter I did have 21 lip glosses in my collection and I don't think it's like the worst ever, but the thing is that I don't wear lip gloss that much, so I think it's a little bit too much for me. I did declutter 5 lip glosses, so I am left with 16 lip glosses. But I would say in future, when I have used up some of these, some of these are probably going to get old. But I think a maximum number what I would love to have is probably 5 lip glosses. And one thing is that I really don't like that much colorful lip glosses. If I'm going for a bold lip look, I usually go for lipstick. So usually lip glosses that I do prefer are more on the nude side or maybe they are something that they have a little bit color, but then they do have a bunch of simmer. So let's start with the lip glosses I'm going to declutter. And all of these are from the Balm. They are these the Balm Read My Lips lip glosses. This is the only lip product where I have bought all of the shades. I did take a letter to say Haba Haba maybe a month ago in my weekly random products series because I didn't like the shade at all. It was really really bright, warm, hot pink. And I thought that if I declutter the lip gloss in that series, it's much easier for me to part way with the rest of the lip glosses because I was holding on to these for so long just because I had collected all of them and I wanted to have the collection but then some of these are something that I really really don't want to wear and it's not that this is a bad lip gloss I'm still going to keep five of these but these five that I'm going to declutter they are just colors that I don't like so why should I keep them? The first one that I'm going to declutter is the set Sap and this one is like a sheer lip gloss that has shimmer and it is like this watermelon color. I do like this kind of lip glosses that are more on the sheer side and do have shimmer, however this color I think is just not that great on myself at least. I remember when I had collected all of this, this one was the one I disliked the most because I just think this reminds me of like child's lip gloss. It's the watermelon color that makes me not like it. If it was just a little bit more something else than watermelon, maybe I would keep it, but I just don't like the color, so this one is going to go. Then the next set that I'm going to declutter is the set BAM. This is a pretty shade. It is like this light warm pink. I think this is more like a rosy type of shade, but I do have lipsticks that are similar color and honestly I really don't like how this looks on myself like if I want something on this color I would reach for a lipstick rather. Next set I'm going to declutter is the set POW and this is like a cool toned hot pink shade. I don't like this at all. I do have a lipstick in matte formula that is similar to this one. Maybe my lipstick is a little bit warmer and that's why I do like the shade more but I would never wear something like this in glossy formula. The next one that I'm going to declutter is to say wow and this is like a warm bright red and I love red lipstick but I do love it in matte formula. I don't want glossy red lips. I'm so afraid that my lipstick is going to be like all over the place or if I want to go for a glossy look I will do what I did today. So I do have on a matte red lipstick and then I do have lip topper on that is a formula that I can handle but this one like no. I don't say there is anything bad with this lip gloss it's just that I am not comfortable wearing something like this in a glossy formula. The final shade I'm going to declutter is Baba Boom. 
So this one is more cooler toned red. This one I like a little bit more. It's maybe not quite as opaque than WoW, but honestly, I don't know if I have ever worn this. Okay, so those five I'm going to declutter and here I do have all of the lip glosses I'm going to keep. So yeah, let's go through them. I'm going to share these with you again in alphabetical order. It is for me the easiest way to show these to you and I'm going to swatch them as well. The first lip gloss here is actually really, really scary for me when I look it in the tube. So this is the BH Cosmetics Nude Rose Lip Gloss and it is in the same pixie and as you can see it is this really really pale baby pink it is warm baby pink and I am so so afraid of this kind of lipsticks I think they can so easily make me look so trashy and just not cute at all but this one I actually do really like I think this one is sheer enough so that I can wear it so it gives the pop of the baby pink for my lips, but it does not make me look like a wannabe Barbie. The next lip gloss I have here is from Essence and this is the Essence Sunshine Shine lip gloss. It is in the shade Bright On and this one is like quite interesting lip gloss. It is this very very light frosty brown shade and I do kind of like it. It's not my favorite. It's not something I would wear all the time, but I think it's really, really pretty. So as you can see, it's really, really glossy. This one is maybe on the goobiest side of my lip glosses, so it's not my favorite formula, but I do like the shade, so for now I'm going to hold on to it. The next lip gloss I got from Lip Monthly, that is like a lip product subscription service, and this one is from Evelyn Iona. I'm not quite sure what the lip gloss name is or what the shade name is. It doesn't read in the tube, but I'm trying to find it and I will write it to the description box. But I do really like this. So this is a pink lip gloss that is like a sheer formula and it has shimmer in it. And this one is like a natural rosy type of pink. So I do really, really like this. I think it looks so natural. This is very easy, everyday type of lip gloss. Then I do have two Jewel lip toppers, and this is going to be a spoiler for my 2018 favorites. But these are my favorite lip gloss find in 2018. So I was honestly, before I tried this, I was a little bit annoyed by the word lip topper. I thought you can just wear any lip gloss you want on top of your lipstick and you don't need to have a fancy lip topper. However, I must say when I tried this I kind of changed my mind because the formula is so unique. It's not at all like lip gloss formula where it's you know, when you do wear a lip gloss, you definitely can feel that you have gloss on. It's going to feel a little bit gooby, no matter what. I think these feel like very, very comfortable and lightweight lip glosses, but I don't feel this one moving around at all. And I think that makes them so kind of like unique and I can wear them on top of any lipstick I would ever want and I don't have to be afraid that the lipstick is going to be all over the place because I do have something glossy on top of the lipstick. So the first set that I do have is Funfetti. This was a limited edition lip topper. I don't know if it is any longer available but it is so beautiful. I absolutely do love this. So this is this clear base but it is this beautiful colorful glitter. There is blue, green, gold and pink glitter sparkles there. They are really really fine glitters. It is so pretty and I think it's so fun and I think Funfetti is a perfect name for it. And then the another shade that I do have is Skinny Dip. So I had to get this because this one is so hyped. This one I am actually wearing today on top of my NYX matte lipstick in Alabama because I'm doing a lip gloss collection video. I wanted to wear a lip gloss, but then I need to wear my NYX matte lipstick to get to my project panning goals. So yeah, this one is like this champagne type of shimmer. I think it is a little bit more frosty than Funfetti. Funfetti is my favorite from this, but this one is also so beautiful. It is like this warm champagne gold 
Next, I do have a lip gloss from Lavera. I believe Lavera is from Germany and they are a natural beauty brand. This is quite old. I consider decluttering this because I have had it for three years now and it is natural beauty product, so I don't know how long it will stay good. But it doesn't smell bad or anything and I do really like it, so I wanted to keep it for now. Probably with some of these lip glosses I will need to declutter them next year just because I don't think they are going to stay good so much longer. But for now I'm not ready to declutter products that I do like. This lip gloss is in the side Almond Kiss and I think it's so beautiful. So it is this shimmery, cool toned, reddish brown lip gloss. The next product is actually the closest thing that I have tried to those Jouer lip toppers. So this one is a lip gloss from a brand called Luna. I did get this one also from Lip Monthly and this one is a lip gloss that is this bronzy shimmery thing and this is actually quite similar formula to those Jouer lip toppers. It is way more thin and kind of like dry than most of my lip glosses and when I do say that my lip gloss feels a little bit dry, I don't mean that it is a bad thing. Like if lipstick is dry, it's not a good thing usually. But when lip gloss is dry, it does not have that stickiness and goobiness to it. So this one is a really interesting formula. I remember I used to not like this first and I honestly don't like to wear this alone. But I need to try it as a lip topper. Next I do have two of these NYX butter glosses. These are honestly one of my favorite lip glosses. Unfortunately they are not vegan so I will buy them no longer but I do really like this. I did buy a set where I got these two colors and also there was a red shade but I did declutter that I don't really wear red lip glosses, as I have told you already. The first one of these is called Devil's Food Cake, and this is now the deepest lip gloss that I do have, but I honestly do wear this once in a while. So it is a deep shade, but still it is a little bit sheer, and I think it's so interesting because of that. So even though it is not something I wear all the time, I still want to keep it. And then Another one of these that I do have is in the set Tiramisu. This one is one of my favorite lip glosses. It's so beautiful, pinky, brownish nude. I really, really do love it. So here it is. It's such a perfect nude lip gloss. This one I'm trying to use up completely next year, so I'm going to put put it to a project pan. Next, I do have two lip glosses from Pacifica. So these are Pacifica Enlightened glosses and they are very very shimmery almost like frosty lip glosses they do have a little bit color to them this first one is in the shade peach kiss and it is more like a pink it's like a little bit on the cooler side but it's not like too too cool toned pink but it's like very very faint wash of color when you do wear this i do like this kind of lip glosses much more in spring and summertime. Then another one of these is the shade Opal and it is like a frosty, very very light beach shade. And actually this one I have worn quite a lot and I do really really like it. Then the last five of my lip glosses are the rest of my The Balm Read My Lips lip glosses. So these five I'm going to keep. So the first one of these is called Boom. And after the NYX lip gloss in Tiramisu, this is my deepest lip gloss. But I do really like this one because it's actually quite sheer. And it is this beautiful berry lip gloss. The next one of these is the shade Girl. And this one is actually my favorite, favorite lip gloss. So right now if I could keep only one lip gloss, I would probably keep this one or then I might keep something that is similar in color but has little bit shimmer because this one does not have any shimmer in it but it is this quite sheer formula and it is this my lips but better type of thing when it does give a little hint of brown gloss and I just think it's so flattering on myself. It's my oldest lip gloss so it's over three years old so I think it would be time for me to use it up and maybe when I have used up some other lip glosses as well, maybe replace it with a new one. But yeah, 
right now I cannot let go of it. The next one of these is the set Kabang and this one is something that when I did watch people reviewing this many people said that they don't like this, some didn't even get this and some said that they just don't like this but I actually think this is pretty. So it is this warm shimmery bronze and I think it's so nice on summer and fall time. Then the next set that I do have here is Pop. This one I was thinking if I should keep or declutter but I decided that I will keep it for now. This one is a peachy lip gloss and I do really like this but the thing is that this one is quite sheer and I think it's so ugly if I wear it on bare lips because it doesn't have enough pigment to kind of cover my own lip color and when you can see my natural lip color under this I think it looks just so so weird. However I do not have any peach lipsticks for now so I do want to keep this but it is something that I do prefer on top of a lip liner. I do have a peach lip liner but also this one looks nice on top of a nude lip liner. Then the last lip gloss in my collection and in this video is the Balm Rate My Lips lip gloss in the set Snap and this one is like a light brown. It's quite opaque compared to some of other of these lip glosses. Okay so that was everything for my lip gloss collection and inventory. When I look at my lip glosses that are in front of me I know I could probably declutter like half of them and I could be quite happy with my collection. However I just don't want to declutter products right now when I still like them and I can see myself using them. Like those five lip glosses that I decided to declutter are something I honestly don't want to wear. But all the rest of them I can see myself wearing. Some of them I maybe need to declutter next year because they are getting old and I just don't think lip gloss is a product that stays good for years. But in future I try to be so much smarter when purchasing lip glosses. I don't honestly need that much. Like I said, five would be kind of like good number for me. That was everything for today. That was everything for my collection and inventory series. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye bye.